Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. Five power shards, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, steel beams, reinforced iron plate, screws right there. So why can't I get the... I thought I already got that. Alternate stitched iron plate. So why can't I have the alternate here for the iron plate? Wait a minute. No. It should be the reinforced iron plate. Heavy modular frame. No. Uh, reinforced iron plate right there. Hmm. Why is it not showing up on here? This is a little strange. Right, that one... It's not even gone anywhere. That's, that's just staying right where it is. Right, fine. Tier 3, Caterium Technology. Uh, I need to go and get a bit more of that. But let, me, let me just dump in some of these other things first. So, no, not you. Right, there's all of those. And all of those. I've only got one left. Cables. 100 of them. And I need another stack of wire. Get another stack of wire a minute. That is right through here somewhere. Over through there. This one's full. We've actually filled this one up completely. Probably a good job because we're going to be filling that one up uh, quite a bit more. There's there's more of that we're going to be using. If, if we're able to make iron plate, the, the, the heavy iron plates using copper instead of something else, uh, that's going to make a huge, huge difference. So let's drop that into there and launch you. Kate. Here we go. Incoming message. Caterium acquisition unlocked. Additional to new equipment, building, and parts utilizing basic Caterium properties. R&D insisted on inflating your pocket dimension. Nice. Okay. Additional pocket dimension. That is absolutely fantastic. Pod launched. Select milestone right here. We've got the color gun there that we can eventually go and do. Tier 3, we've got the, the rebar gun. Spiked rebar, ammo for the rebar gun. Wow. Improvised ranged weapon. Has to be reloaded for each use. Biomass, primarily used as fuel. Uh, plus one arm equipment slot. Okay. Right, well, well, we'll deal with that later. I'm not going to worry about that one for a minute. And we are heading back over this way. So... That's all backed up there. Everything here is backed up. That one's empty. So why are you backed up? Hang on, let me let me get up on uh, up 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 onto the top of here. Right. So we've got those busy whizzing out of there, and that's whizzing out of there as well. You're doing just fine. You are full with 100 rods. And in here, we're not full of 100 rods. So we're waiting. Both sides are slow at the moment. That's going up to the top. And then I got this one down here. This one is slowly producing stuff. And it's using three iron rods a minute. So then that one over there, that's taking the iron rods up the top to the frames up there. And then over this side, we have the iron plates, and you are running in here, and you're still going at exactly the same speed that you were earlier on. Right. This much we know. So then we come up here, and we bounce over to here, and we can see that the iron rods are now backed up all the way. They're backed up to that one, and that one is backed up completely, and it's backing up in there as well. That one, however, is not backed up. That one is not backed up at all. This one over here needs... That one's overclocked to 200%. This one over here is only overclocked to 150% and it's not backed up. Let's upgrade this um, belt right here. <coughs> uh, we'll upgrade that belt right there. So that one goes a little dinky bit faster. And I'm going to go out over this side... And I'm going to upgrade that belt. I'm not going to worry about upgrading these other belts. You can see that the iron rods are coming out of there. That's doing just fine. Over here. 
But kind of the, the big issue at the moment is I've got I've got iron ingots coming in. They're still coming in, but despite the speed that I'm producing these, and despite the fact that that is backed up, I'm wondering how many am I producing out of here? Twenty-two point five per minute. This one is using up 15 per minute, and the other one is using 15 per minute as well. So I'm using 30 per minute. I'm actually using more than just the, the one is making. So, um, yeah, despite the fact that that is overclocked to 150. So I want to overclock this one again. We'll take one of these and we'll drop that in there. And then you can go all the way up to there. Just put that up to 17.3, and I'm now producing 37.5 iron rods per minute out of this one little factory right here. That's as many as I can do. I'm going to want to... Well, that will worry about overclocking that one in a minute. I'm now going to want to overclock these two. So let me come out of here. Go up onto here and overclock this one. We'll drop you in there and I'll bump that up like that so it goes from 4 megawatts up to 7.7 .7. right so it's not a huge increase it's a bit of an increase but it's not massive there and if I have a look in here we've also got the new power pole right there but we need the new type of wire to make that which means that we need the new ore to make that so we're not going to worry about that for a minute let me go into this one and I'm also going to overclock this one right here. And I'm going to jump that one up to 150% like that. So we're now using 7.7 .7 megawatts on those. I'm using 22.5. So I'm using 45 iron rods per minute on here. And I'm throwing this through as fast as I possibly can on there. And it is just, like the belt is just able to take it away. Only just. It's literally, it's right up against it, but that is the maximum speed that that belt can take that away. So I'm going to jump over this way a minute, and I'm hoping that will have actually increased this now. So it's going to start backing out of there. And it has, it has, we've just gone past two lots of screws that were in there in the storage. So that is now going to start backing up. Which means it should do the same over on this side. Uh, 44. Yes, 44 is the crucial target. So that is now going to be producing those absolutely flat out. Um, but really what I would like to do is I'd like to overclock having them come out of there. I want it to I want it to go faster. Right, those those are running in through. Oops. Bush. And I want to overclock this so that it goes faster still. And I've got a double lot on there. I, I can do this. It's on 15 megawatts at the moment. Be careful with that. Right, I put that one up to 150%. goes up to 28.7 on there. That's a lot of power. 7.5. It's increased it a little bit, the output. But how many extra screws is that now taking? It's going to be more than I can use once again. And we are, right, we've had some peaks of power use up here. Seems all right. At the moment, it seems all right. Iron rods running through here. Seems okay. Uh, let me go and have a look in here. Right, so we're... No, that's producing... Going to get all the way up. It's, it's gone up past one of them and it's producing the next one. And it's going to go all the way up there to 40. Ah, right. So it's pausing ever so slightly. It is using them. But we, I mean, I could always just nudge this down to 140% clock speed. So that I use slightly less power. If I reduce the amount of power I'm using, just by the tiniest fraction, I'm now doing 7 per minute by going down to 140%. And I'm kind of hoping that that will... Yeah, that's, that's slowed that down a little bit there. But I, I, what I was hoping was that it would... That'll go up there. And that'll go straight to the next one. 
Is 140 going to be enough? Because I can't get... This, if the screws aren't coming in any faster, it's not going to make... No, that's, that's actually using them up faster than I need to. So I could slow that down yet still again. It's just the tiniest... No, actually, that's fine. We'll, we'll leave that on 140%. Um, this is just tiny, tiny tweak on there to keep that run, keep that one running through. And we come up here and we make sure that everything is running through on this side as well. I have got an insane amount of iron rods coming through on this side. Uh, but they are all being used up because the faster I put the iron screws through, the faster it's using the iron rods as well. So I want still more iron rods being used. I'm wondering if I should not be splitting them off here. I think this is I think this is actually on all of this setup now, I think this is my mistake. I think I want a direct line going into there for feeding that side. And then I want a direct line on this one feeding this side. So this one here we can put we can overclock that a little bit more. Um, and I just remove this. So if I go I remove that conveyor splitter, I remove that conveyor splitter, I remove this merger right here, take you out, take you out, and that one, and that one over there, like that, and then I'll go number eight like this, and I'll just simply join those two in like that. So that one's going to feed that side, and then you over here, uh, not number four, I want number eight. I'll press button number eight there. That's just going to run straight through into there. It's going to give us some extra in here, which is what it's actually going to mean is I'm not going to need this many in here. I can ramp that down and I can take that one out. We'll leave that on 200% in a minute and I'll see if that's enough. And then you over here, we'll see if you are producing enough up here. Uh, 24. That's dropping down. So we'll take that one. We'll put you into there. And I'll put you up to 200%. Like that. There. That's 30 per minute coming out. Uh, what did I say these two were? 22 point. I need 45 per minute iron rods. Unless I'm getting 45 iron rods a minute. I'm not producing enough. And at the moment I'm only producing 30. So I need to really ramp this one up. That one's got to go up like that. That's only 37.5 per minute. I'm not producing enough iron rods. I cannot keep up with demand. 37 is not enough. Despite the fact that you'd think it would be, it's not enough. This one over here, are you producing enough? I was splitting everything. That one's still not producing enough. I'm looking in here now. I'm using these up means those rotors, they're very slowly heading over that way. It's, it's, it's a slow movement. It's a slow process. But I am not producing enough iron rods on any of it. So I could actually do it with ramping that one back up. Except I can't because I don't have the clock speed. I, I've, I've run out of clock speed things. Right. Fine. We'll leave it like that. That's, that's all we can do. We, we've, we've spent ages tweaking and, and poking at it, and it, it seems to be going well. We've got some rather crazy-looking machines now. I think we're making some progress. I, I want to go back upstairs. I want to have a look at the top a minute. And then we can go back out to these tractors, and we can see if we can find out what's going on over there. Because this is the other thing this is being used for. The faster I can produce these plates the more I need the iron rods up here. So I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't be making quite so many screws in the first place. Right? All the screws that we're making in order to make the plates, now we've got an alternative. And that is going to be using those copper cables down there. So once again, we may rip apart everything that we've done down there. All of that rearranging. I might not rip everything apart I might just like dial it back down a little bit so that I'm not making these plates over there instead I'm doing something different I mean if we got in here there's only another 50 like uh, I, I'm, I need loads of them yet right tractors we're gonna have to head out and have a look at these tractors next well I was gonna run out to the tractors but um, we've run out of power 
We do not have enough power. With all of our coal stations over there, we still don't have enough power. So I'm just going to come in here first, and I'm going to make myself a few of these. I need to make some screws. I can make a whole load of those. So if I make a quick stack of these, I can then make four rotors right there. I actually want to make a few more so that I can make nine... I want to make nine rotors altogether. Eight and nine. This will allow me enough to make two new coal stations, which I will put over there next to the existing coal stations. I'm hoping. Let's just have a quick look in here. Coal generator. Yes, right. I've mostly got enough. If I just run over this way a minute and we will grab the other... Oop. There we go. The other little bit that I'm going to need, which is... We'll take a stack of these. Like that. Yeah, that'll do. It'll keep us running for a minute. And we'll go and build two more coal stations. And then we will also put out some more of these in order to feed into them. We can, we can do all of that sort of stuff. And then we will run out and we'll have a look at these tractors again. I, I really, 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 really want to get these tractors up and running. I want to just go onto the side of there like that. Uh, so you just rotate you round and then center you like that. Oops. There. There is the first one. And then the second one can go right next to it. In theory. Can it? Yes, it can. Right, I'll do that and I'll put that one there. Uh, should be enough to go into there. So then, I can't remember exactly how I did this last time. The, having the, the belt move so fast is a little bit of a nuisance. But if I jump up onto there, I should be able to just line it up there. That, that might work reasonably well. So we want a splitter on that conveyor belt. And we want that to go in right there. Like that. And I will put... Just a Mark III belt straight into there. So there's that one being fed in. And then I can't get up onto there. I can go like this. And then I can go like that. And I can jump up across like that. So I put another one on here. That one will go there like that. I'm hoping. And then I go there and in there like that right that one's filling up as well so I've got both of those two filling up we've now got two extra power plants I need to join those into the network over here which we will do like this I will remove that pole over there I think like that and then I will go for a pole over here I want to put one there and I want to put one there then I will join that one onto there that one onto there that one up to there that one up to there that one wait oh, I put I ended up having I had another pole over here didn't I right so we'll put we'll put a pole there and then I will join that on like that, so that's all joined together. So we've now got extra on our pole, on, on our power stations, and I should now be able to engage that one. So we've now got a capacity of 400 megawatts, and it's consuming 305 on that initial spike. That's what that's what did it. It went to 305, and that knocked it out. I mean, now, look at it, it's all dropping down, 278. That's absolutely fine. That's not causing me any problems. But I got all of this coal right here, and I'm sort of thinking that this line of coal going in here, really, we just want that for the power stations. I'm probably going to want more of those. So this coal that we're going to be getting from this other spot, we're going to want that coming back and feeding our steel supply. At least this is what I'm sort of thinking we're going to be wanting. I could be wrong. We might not want that. We do have more iron up here, so I could even set up a brand new iron thing, and I could set that going off of that one right there but we'll worry about that later I'm gonna run back over to the tractors oh, there's our tractors down there I've gone and looked it up and I've also listened to what a few people have said and 
The general idea is I'm supposed to program a course for the tractors. I had no idea. I didn't realize. I thought if you just left them there, they would, like, do the run back by themselves. So I, I didn't know anything about this, but apparently we've got to program the route that they've got to take. Now, I don't know if we're supposed to program the route that both of them take. Or if we're supposed to just program the route that one of them takes. Uh, I'm, I'm not really entirely sure. So we can open the workbench right there. If you've got fuel on that bit. There is another thing that I want to do first. And I've been told that, yes, we've got this coming in here like this. From the conveyor belt right there. That's running all the way down from the coal mine up at the top. And it's filling this one up very rapidly. But what I also need to do is I need to have it going into this side. Because this is the fuel side. And that's what will refuel the actual trucks. So if we take a splitter like that. And I bring that one off there. Like that. And then I take a Mark III belt off of there. And bring that down in. That looks very, very weird. That does. The way that is... Can I seriously not get up? No, I can get up onto there like that. Right. That is a very weird looking thing, the way it's done that. But now if you have a look, it's busy filling this one up over here. And that will refuel the trucks. Apparently I only need to refuel them from one side because it's a relatively short run. So I'm not going to need to worry about refueling both sides. So I come down here and I press E to drive the tractor. Now if you look on the side, it's not recording autopilot active. No, but there is a thing with these. Right? Let me stop there a minute. If I press C, I've now got this. Clear path, start recording, cancel, disable autopilot high path nodes. Um, so I'm going to bring that one back like this. So you press C when you're in the truck. Oh. If you press the mouse button, recording. I'm now recording. So I want to take this vehicle path and I want to drive it over this way and I want to go straight up this side and I'm going to keep it to the left hand side for the track going up here so that it doesn't interfere with going back again when we want to be driving on the right hand side. Well it will be the right hand side as I'm looking at it now. Um, but we'll always drive on the left. We're going to assume that we're driving in the UK, so we will be driving on the left and not on the right-hand side, which is what the rest of the crazy world does, but the rest of the world is wrong. In this instance, the UK is correct and the whole of the rest of the world is wrong. Okay, I just, I just want to put that out there. Um, curiously, how am I going to even... I have to go uh, around here. Okay, I've done that completely wrong. But I have, I've done it. I've gotten there. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. So I bring that one to here. And then he unloads. So now what? I go... Do I have to go back again? So he's done that. And then I go back. And I see, look, we've got vehicle nodes right there. So I will go past these vehicle nodes. And I'm going to actually have to cross over them on this bit because I went the wrong side. So I'm going to cross over them there and I'm going to cross over them on this side as well. And then I'm going to go on up here and you can see where the vehicle nodes are. So if I stick to this side, stay on the left. It's more like it. And I'm on, you know, I've got a, a right-hand drive vehicle as well. So staying on the left does make a lot of sense. Definitely makes a lot of sense. We come whizzing on down through this way like this. And I bring you up to here. There. Right, now what? I stop there. Uh, finish recording. Right, it's not recording a path. But why is it not loading? If I jump off... I don't want to do that. Uh, 
Yeah, he's got fuel in. And I'll move that one. So what's that truck doing over there? I'm going to stop this. Let me just stop this tractor over here a minute. That one can stay there. What's this one doing? It's sort of thinking about what it's supposed to do, but it's not loading. That is... I think it. I think I want that. Is that loading it, or is that bringing it back? That one's gone over there. Okay, I think I think I've done that wrong. I think I've done that completely wrong. I don't know which side is send. Oh, it says send, and then it says receive. So, like, I'm I'm assuming that this is that's send. I want to send it there, and then that's receive, which is that one there. So we had it on receive, and I don't think we should have done. So we'll do it like this, and we'll wait for that truck to come back. And if well, once it comes back, then then we'll we'll sort of have a look. Uh, we'll go over here a minute, and we'll see what this is. We can harvest this little bit. Oh wait, bauxite. Let's grab that and pick that up, and we'll put it into our little storage that we've got right here. And there's something up on the hill. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, right, there's some bauxite. There's some more stuff. There's, there's something going on up here. I can hear some noise. I'm not really quite sure what it is. But we need to keep an eye out for that truck to come back. Right, so far, it's, there's no sign of it at the moment. Um, tractor, not truck. Well, at the moment, I got the tractor down there. But the other one is not showing up anywhere on, on, on a list or anything. Uh, I've got... I climb up here. There's a bit of something up there, which is a node. Doesn't appear to be anything else around here. So going up this side a bit. I'm looking around. I don't see. It's like down the bottom, I can hear a noise. And that noise is sounding like there's something there that can be found or something can happen with it I'm not really sure what it is we know there's a slug up on there but I mean we don't actually need that slug not at the moment we, we got enough in the way of slugs let's I'm just gonna wait here for that see when that tractor comes back oh there he is he's coming back already he doesn't flow smoothly when he's off out to the side so we'll come down here there. He's rushing back now. He's rushing back now. He's going to go up there. Now, is he going to stop? He is going to stop now, and he is going to load. So that is actually loading it. Wait, what's it doing? It should be sending it out. Send. Why aren't you loading this truck up? Truck doesn't want to turn round either. We, we we've done that bit wrong. So it's, it's struggling with the whole turning round. I think I need to re-record it. Right, drive tractor. Yeah, we'll stop. We'll stop there a minute. And instead of this, I'm going to bring it over like that, and I'm going to stop there like that. No, come back. I forgot to disable the autopilot. So I go to here a minute, and I want to... Well, disable autopilot for a minute. Autopilot active, no. And then I... And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.